How is it going guys? My name is Trevor and today we are back here with another NBA 2K19 My League Rebuild. So before we begin, of course, if you guys don't know the rules, you get three seasons to rebuild the team. And if you, of course, the goal is to win a championship, so hopefully we can do that. But if you guys haven't uh, checked out the last two videos, they are on the channel. Also, if you guys do like this kind of content, make sure you subscribe. Leave me a comment, tell me what you like about it. If you feel like I can improve, let me know in the comments below. My Instagram will be in the description if you want to give me a follow. I haven't really used it that much lately, but eventually I'll check it, and if you follow, I'll follow you back. So, last time we did an Easter Conference team, we did the Knicks, so this time we're going to be doing a Western Conference team. And I had a team in mind, and here they are. We're going to be doing the Phoenix Suns. Yes, the Phoenix Suns. I, you know, I just really want to see what we could do with this team. I'm really interested in them. Um, I have another team in mind that I want to do for the Western Conference. I'll do it next time for sure. I think you guys know who I'm thinking about. Without further ado, let's get this offseason started. I'll see you guys in the first season, beginning, where we'll be making potentially some trades. All right, so looking at the roster, we've got Devin Booker on a very nice friendly deal for this year, but then his uh, contract kicks in. I think, uh, what is he making? I don't remember exactly what the amount of money it was. Yeah, a lot of money. Um, we got T.J. Warren. Um, we did sign Trevor Reza for a one-year deal. Um, got Josh Jackson, Tyson Chandler. Um, might look to move Ryan Anderson if we can, um, for sure. Uh, Mikhail Bridges. Uh, yeah, I mean, for the most part, the contract situation for this team isn't that bad. Um, I think Trevor Reza expires, yeah. So I think the only move I might potentially make is Ryan Anderson and maybe... Um, a future pick we do have the future bucks pick so maybe i can see what we can get for that i'm gonna hold on to my 2019 first round pick maybe trade in the off season but without further ado let's see if i can find any deals all right so we're just gonna do this simple swap uh ryan anderson for bismack biombo he has a player option so maybe not actually there was another deal yeah we're actually gonna do this one instead um marcin gortat i don't think he's on a player deal no he's not so he's an expiring deal we're bringing him back to the suns and we'll get wesley johnson we are taking away Isaiah Cannon and Ryan Anderson to clear up some cap. I mean, Isaiah Cannon is on a minimum deal, but still. Definitely want some potential money for free agency, and I feel like this will help me. Maybe we could sign one player, a decent player, so we're going to be doing that trade. And I think that's all the moves I'm going to be making for now. I might make some trades in the offseason. So I'm going to simulate to the end of the first season, and I will see you guys there where... I don't know where exactly we'll be. Who knows with 2K. Alright, so we're at the end of the first season. Stephen Curry was your MVP. I forgot to show you guys the rotations, by the way. I'm sorry about that. Luka Doncic, Rookie of the Year. Uh, Dennis Schroeder, Sixth Man. Defense Player of the Year was Giannis. Most Improved Buddy Healed. Mike D'Antoni, Coach of the Year. Uh, here's your All-NBA First Team. I don't think we'll be seeing any Suns, but you never know. Maybe Devin Booker got something. He did not. And, uh, well, actually... We might see, yep, we're going to see DeAndre Aiden, all rookie first team. He's going to be someone I want to build around. Let's take a look at his statistics. He averaged 14 points. Wow. Holy good gracious. He was really good. Um, but uh, rookie there went to Luka Doncic, probably because he was able to lead them to the playoffs. He's me He's just a monster, man. He really is. So, yeah, we did not make the playoffs, unfortunately. I do want to take a look at what we were going with, though, with the game plan. So it looked like, yeah, I guess someone got hurt. Yeah. No, it looks like that was what our starting lineup was for the most part. Regardless, we're going to take a look at the statistics. Um, player, uh, player stats, see what we got. So Devin Booker played phenomenal, actually. Pretty much 27 points, like four rebounds, five assists. Um shot nearly 47 percent from the field and 38 from three so we are going to be seeing more of that hopefully um other than that i mean i might look to move either tj warren or josh jackson um just because we could maybe use a power forward or a shooting guard well not a shooting guard a point guard um i mean this guy wasn't bad but he's just He's, yeah, not going to be our starting point guard. So I'm going to simulate to the offseason, and I'll see you guys basically at the start of the offseason. I just want to see who wins the championship first. It looks like it's going to be 
the Raptors. Kawhi Leonard Finals MVP. All right, so I accidentally simulated past coach staffs. I wanted to actually hire a better trainer because I don't know if our trainer is good or not, but I would be looking to make some moves. I might look to move TJ Warren, field some offers out there, and this 13th pick potentially, and maybe even this top five pick, see if we can get anything good. Rudy Gobert and Derek Favors. Hmm. Oh, wow. All right, we actually have a lot of good offers here. Steven Adams, Dennis Schroeder. We do need a point guard. What is our cap looking like? Hmm. I don't know. I'm very tempted to do that. But we can always wait for the offseason. I will unload these two first round picks, though. Potentially maybe get somebody. Oh, I still have a TJ Warren. So let's see if I can maybe get something for those two, two future picks, maybe. Add any picks. Can I get any good players? Doesn't look like it. Yeah, so I'm just going to simulate, let the CPU draft whoever they want to draft, and I'll see you guys at the start of free agency. Okay, so uh, we can get Kyrie Irving, and I think we're going to get Kyrie Irving. That's a big signing. I could go after Klay Thompson. Knicks are going to match that. Um, I definitely think we need a point guard, obviously. I don't think we really need a uh, small forward, uh, a, uh, another whatever it is. You know. So yeah, obviously renouncing all these guys' rights. And I'm going to unfortunately have to decline Clay Thompson and Porzingis. So we got Kyrie Irving. We got our starting point guard. Wow, that's a big acquisition. Kyrie Irving is welcome to the Phoenix Suns. Kyrie Irving. So I'm going to say we don't have enough cap for anybody else. Uh, so I'm just going to simulate this to the actual start of free agency and see what our cap is looking like. Um, and then we're gonna go from there. But yeah, we don't have any. We don't have any money. So 1.86 million. So I'm gonna do some minimum free agency signings, and I'll see you guys at the start of the second. Season. All right. So we are at the start of the second season. Here is what we have: Kyrie Irving, Devin Booker, DeAndre Aiden, T.J. Warren, Josh Jackson, Mikael Bridges, Dragon Bender, Tyson Chandler got him back. Boban. This guy is still here. Tillovich, Jordan Crawford, Jam Fry. This guy. This guy. Okay, so that's the guy we drafted, I guess. So, I mean, for the most part, our team is set. Um, I could maybe try to make a trade. Maybe see if we could get a better power forward. But um, for the most part, let's see what the lineup is going to look like. Kyrie Irving, Devin Booker, TJ Warren, Dragon Bender, DeAndre Aiden, Josh Jackson, uh, Mikael Bridges, Tyson Chandler, Boban, this guy. Oh, yeah, so I mean, for the most part, pretty good. Uh, our coach is terrible at, a, at defense, which is just awesome. So it is what it is. Uh, I'm going to look for some deals. If I could find something, I'll show you guys in the screen. If not, I will see you guys at the end of the second season. All right, you know what? I'm going to do this deal with the Philadelphia 76ers. Josh Jackson, Shannon Fry, and I get Dario Sarge and Zaire Smith. So uh, getting a power, starting power forward. Um, I do really I don't really want to know if I want to part with uh, Josh Jackson, but we do need a power forward um, And I also think Zaire Smith has some good trade values So just in case we do need to trade him in, in eventually so looks like we actually might be winning this trade So now I'll see you guys at the end of the second season. All right, so we kind of got off to a little bit of a slow start We ended the season 47 and 35 not too bad Russell Westbrook was your most valuable player of this year. Justin Hayward, Rookie of the Year. Uh, sixth Man of the Year was Julius Randle on the San Antonio Spurs. Defense Player of the Year was go to your boy Kawhi Leonard. Most approved was Malik Monk. And then Nick Nurse was the Coach of the Year for the Toronto Raptors. They had a really good season. So, ooh, wow. All NBA first team. Russell Westbrook towards ACL. All NBA second team. See if we get anybody doesn't look like it only be 13 we have Kyrie Irving averaging 27 points or pretty much 28 points six assists and shot 55 wow he, had a f he was only wow that's incredible that he was only the th really I mean okay Maybe not all NBA first team. He sh I feel like he should have got all NBA second team. But it is what it is. I'm surprised Devin Booker didn't make anything. But I guess, you know, the guards, really guard oriented league. 
the most part, no one else. Uh, looks like we don't have any other suns. Yeah, no, nothing I can't see. So, we were the seventh seed taking on the Golden State Warriors. So, you know, the uh, we're a little bit tight with the standings, it looks like. So, I'll have to take a look at the standings. But those are the rotations we're going with. So, guard heavy play and DeAndre Aiden also getting some heavy, heavy minutes. They had a couple injuries, but what are you going to do? I do want to see these standings quick. Yeah, pretty, pretty, pretty tightly packed. I mean, we we're clearly the seventh seed, but there's a slight gap between everybody else, and then, yeah. So it looks like it's a little bit of tears. Uh, and then this is the East. Looks like Toronto just runs the East, and yeah, the East was pretty weak this season. So we'll take a look at the player stats. Yeah, Devin Booker's numbers went a bit down, but what are you gonna do? Uh, T.J. Warren, uh, DeAndre Aiden, Miles Bridges, Darius Sar. So we had a bunch of guys that averaged double figures. Looks like we had six. That's pretty good. And yeah, so a couple injuries, but what are you going to do? I think we'll be okay. I don't expect to beat the Golden State Warriors. We'll find out, though, by simulating the current round. Maybe we can win a couple games. We do win two. We're two and two, three and two. We eliminate in six. Happens. Fair enough. Good progress. Maybe we can make the second round. Maybe even the conference finals would be an awesome thing to happen to us. Uh, maybe we'll make some moves if cap persists and we're gonna see who wins the NBA Finals here we have a Philadelphia Golden State Warriors the Warriors win the championship in it looked like seven games I think Stephen Curry was your finals MVP I will see you guys at the third and final offseason though all right we just got Andrew Wiggins I wanted to upgrade the the small forward position so I traded TJ Warren the seventh and the 20th pick this year for Andrew Wiggins um, I don't really need my picks because like I said they're kind of useless especially with the draft classes in this game so if I can maybe potentially get something for these picks, that would be awesome. Um, it doesn't look like it, though. That might be the only offer I actually get. But I'm going to try something nevertheless, and if I can maybe find another deal where I can get another decent player because I can't get free agency, then I'll let you guys know on the screen. All right, so we're at the start of free agency. I couldn't find anything, so I'm going to maybe potentially look for... What the heck? Why is this guy a free agent? Huh. Did he not get picked it? Wow. This guy's an 85 overall. Hmm. Maybe it's free agency. So yeah, it looks like he can only sign minimum players, so... I'm probably just gonna hopefully make some small adjust roster adjustments. I'll see you guys at the start of the third and final season. Alright, so we are at the third and final season. Um, this is the rotation that the coach wants to go with. Kyrie Irving, Devin Booker, Andrew Wiggins, Dario Sarge, DeAndre Aiden. Off the bench got Mikhail Bridges. Uh, Eli Okubo, Okubo um, Dragon Bender, Daryl Brown, Zara Smith, and then everybody else. Minimum guys. We only have 14 guys. Um, I do wish I could sign another center. I might look to do that in free agency. Just a small one, maybe, potentially. Not too great. Not too bad. Got a new coach. Much better ratings. So I'm expecting to have a much better season. At least get to the conference finals, hopefully. Um, but there's only one way to find out. It's the simulate, so I'll see you guys at the end of the third and final season. All right, so we are at the third and final season. Stephen Curry was your MVP. Uh, this guy was the rookie of the year. Um, Jeremy Lin, six man on the Hawks, most improved. Kawhi Leonard, DeAndre Aiden was most improved player. Had a phenomenal season. Wow, this guy's a machine. And Steve Kerr was the coach of the year. As you can see, we went 43 and 39. So I don't even know if we made the playoffs or not. So we're only gonna have to we're gonna have to find out when we uh, simulate. Hopefully, we did. It's kind of a disappointment. If you think about it, um, nobody made any teams except for DeAndre Aiden down here being sneaky. Um, other than that, doesn't look like we have any more Phoenix Suns. No. So hopefully we made the playoffs. We did as the seventh seed, taking on the second seed, the Lakers. So like I said, a bit of a disappointment this year. So maybe we had some injuries, I'm guessing. Let's take a look at these player stats. Kyrie Irving averaged 20 points, so his numbers went down. Booker also averaged about 20 points, so um, definitely a different uh, style offense. But the shots were more evenly spread. DeAndre Ayton took more shots. We also had Andrew Wiggins now, so he's taking some shots. We did have a lot of guys average double figures, it seems. It looks like seven, but we don't even know if there were any injuries or not. It looks like no one's injured right now, though, so hopefully we can uh, play pretty well. These are standings. Um, if you guys want to pause and take a look, 
much because I haven't really been showing them that much actually. So let's see, we're taking on the Los Angeles Lakers. Let's take it game by game. We won game one. They won game two. They won game three. We win game four, okay. Let's put up a fight. All right, game five we win. Can we win game six in advance? No. Uh, game seven, we lose. So we were one game better. Could not get to the second round. That's a bit upsetting. I feel like if we had one more season, we'd have the potential to do so, but unfortunately that isn't the case. So we're going to submit the rest of these playoffs. I do want to thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate you guys' support. Let me know in the comments who you guys want to see next. And it's a Warriors-Bulls final. The Warriors sweep the Bulls, pretty simply. Steph Curry was your finals MVP. And if you guys also do want to follow the Instagram, like I said, it will be in the description. My username, so type it in, follow me. I'll try to give you a follow back. Um, other than that, next video will be a Eastern Conference team. I already have the team in mind, unless you guys comment sometime in the next 24 hours before I make the video. And I will see you guys, well, tomorrow. So, peace.